Welcome back to Life is Strange. We're just getting to the scene where Kate Marsh is on top of the girl's dormitory, and we need to talk her down. Nope, oh nope, nope, nope. Uh, I have to do something to help her. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing. Just trying to keep her alive before we get up there is enough to expend all of our power, so that's why when, once we do get up there, we can't rewind anymore. Got one shot at this. Love the effects here, they look so cool. The raindrops frozen in midair. doing here max stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this by myself max seriously don't come near me i will jump okay okay i'm right here kate please oh max i know you want to help me i love that you stepped up to david but it doesn't matter now nothing matters You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. Only... Did Max say I care about you because you were drugged? Is the implication there, if she wasn't drugged, then I wouldn't care about you? Uh... I mean, thankfully, it seems to have worked saying that to Kate, but still... The implication there is a little... Ugh. Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Morty on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. 
I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered, unless I jump. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No, nobody cares about me. Nobody. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See, you're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Ah, oh, such a relief that I managed to get Kate down. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. God, I fucking hate the principal. It just makes my skin crawl. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely not going to say that David bullied her. I mean, he did, but that's kind of the least of her problems. So either Nathan dosed her or Jefferson made her cry. Hmm. I, I don't know. I mean, Nathan Doster is definitely the more important option, but again, we have the whole thing with the Prescott's family supporting the school, and the Principal Wells is basically just in their pocket. Hmm. Probably best if I don't do anything against Jefferson or Nathan, right? Because if I say that Nathan dosed her, that, that tells Jefferson that I'm kind of on to what they're doing a little bit, you know? But I could just say Jefferson made her cry. Or David bullied her just because David is a piece of shit and fuck him. <laughs> and that's kind of like the neutral option. I'm, I'm gonna go with Jefferson made her cry. 
throw a little shit on him. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. <laughs> Go die in a fucking hole, Jefferson. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. No, I think that's the best option. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me, I'm a mess. You're glowing, seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. Now, I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week.
So, like I said at the end of the first episode, I don't normally skip the credits, but considering this is a replay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, and by the way, I guess I did miss that picture opportunity at the Two Whales Diner. So, dang it. So me and 33% of people told Kate to go to the police. Me and 81% of people answered Kate's call. And looks like it's about a 50-50 split on people who tried to shoot Frank or not shoot them. And me and 62% of people saved Kate's life. So yeah, it is possible to not save her life. Me and only 15% of people blamed Mr. Jefferson. Yeah, most people went with Nathan, and that's probably what I went through went with on my first playthrough too. Oh, we got Kate's little bun bun. Kate! I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Yeah, I think we break into Blackwell Academy, don't we? How's our plant doing? First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Oh, looks like I, I can't water it anymore. Good. It takes away my horrible indecision about whether I should water it again. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Kate's room is blocked off with police tape? Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Yeah, it's not like there's a crime scene in there. So much hypocrite. Bathroom's open. Oh, I'm sure they'll be glad to see me. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? 
You're like blaming me? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I've got my own family shit to deal with. I'm done for the day. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious, but it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Is that suggesting I should go back and say something different? Hey, Dana. Better than... New dialogue option? So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you s I know j I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. What? Like, Victoria? Not me. Hmm. Didn't see any new dialogue options. I don't know. Ooh, look at that paper ball. It's a ball, a paper. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, this is that message from Logan. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. XO Logan. <laughs> I don't know if that's the note, but definitely one of them. I remember Logan's terrible notes to Dana. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time, going through her shit. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I think that's a photo opportunity over there. I saw something with a squirrel and... The most magical insects. Burn bright. Whoa! Look at that jump. Am I scaring it? Look at the lens and say nut. Gotcha. I think this is where we encounter Principal Wells, and I think they're drunk, if I remember it. Principal uh, Wells? Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. 
Oh yeah, he's drunk. Uh, let's see. Sorry about Kate. I hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on. Together. Yo, Supermax. How's the Blackwell hero doing? The hero's still shaking with nerves. You're a boss, but no emoji. <laughs> I also got my favorite teacher suspended. Yay me. Dude, you so own that school. Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together. Cool. And then the ones we just saw. Have something to show you. Meet me in front of the campus. Get that ass in gear now. From Warren. Just reminding us how awesome we are. And from Mom. Uh, please call us as soon as you can. We're so proud of you for saving this girl. And we want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud to milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Does it really matter if we get seen by Wells? I mean, they're totally drunk. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? do I do? I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. What a day. Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. Is there like a sprinkler I can turn on or something? Right. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Oh, right. Just keep going back. I know I have a set of keys on me. Some... Oh, my God. Ah, gotcha. Max the ninja strikes again. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think we're going to break into Blackwell Academy during the night with Chloe.